Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this very exciting Mr. Midi tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how I use light leaks inside of Premiere Pro. I should preface this by saying Mr. Media just released a light leaks pack on mrmedia.com slash products. It is killer. I use it all the time. It's amazing how many times something can look kind of meh, and then you just sort of drop some light leaks on it, and your clients go, wow, Theo, you sure did a great job on that quote lighting, unquote. So it's a good way to make people think you're a hero and sort of do less work. So without further ado, let's hop into Premiere Pro and get started. So here I've got a project. I already colored it. I brought it in to Premiere. It looks cool. Awesome. So let's go ahead and bring in some light leaks. Here's the Emission Media MX light leaks pack, and I'm just going to bring in the whole folder of overlays. So I'm just going to drop those in there. It'll take a second to import. And then now we have it. So let's just go ahead and open this up. You see we've got these two folders, loud and quiet, and this is definitely going to be a loud project. And here we've got all sorts of good stuff. So we've got Campfire with Friends, Candle Bug, Fly Dreams, Matrix Shift, Warm Wash, Two-Tone Trombone, Snakes on a Roller Coaster, and Rocket Man. And for this one, I think we're going to be able to get a lot of good use out of Rocket Man. So a lot of times, honestly, keep this between you and me in music videos I sort of go ahead and drop this on top of a track and I will arm the track that the light leaks are on and arm the track with the cuts and I'll just go down control K down control K down control K and I'll just go through and do that for the whole song and then what I'll do is before that, I should really go and set my opacity. So I'll go set that. And I normally like to use screen, but you can go through and play with whatever you want. So, you know, try pin light. And that's neat. I'm not going to use that. Try soft light. That's pretty cool. I like that. But we're going to use screen for this. And, you know, maybe bring the opacity down. Some sort of not as obnoxious. 40%. Copy that. And paste attributes. We're good to go. And then hit Y to bring up my slip tool. I just go through and sort of randomly go like that so that the light leaks are offset a little bit. And then you can just play through and check that out. Automatic. Look at that. I didn't do that in camera. I added that in post and it looks pretty cool. So it's just that simple. And then we'll play that same little section without light leaks. So, you know, it's still fine, but like it loses a lot of energy because here's light leaks back in so much more movement and then without it. So just like that, light leaks are super baller. So be sure to check those out, meastermedia.com slash products. Also, how sluts are there? Total side note, but this is a video about light leaks. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you go and check them out. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with your friends, or maybe don't, because you don't want them to know how easy it is to make your stuff look, you know, a little better. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.